So, Hack the Box recently released a new defensive security analyst certification, and in today's video, we'll be reviewing this entire program. Thank you to Hack the Box for sponsoring today's video. Here's a breakdown of all the topics we'll be covering in today's video, including what the program covers, the cost of the program, any prerequisites and whether or not it's for beginners, as well as program outcomes and the jobs you can expect to get. And as someone who has been going through the program for the past few weeks, I really do think that is a plethora of really great information and lots of hands-on projects and interactive quizzes. So the program itself is the Hack the Box Certified Defensive Security Analyst Certification, or for short, CDSA, is made for anyone who is interested in roles involving security analysis, SOC operations, and incident response. So right off the bat, I do want to call out that this certification is created for entry-level professionals, so you don't necessarily need any prerequisites or any cybersecurity experience to be able to be successful in going through the program. And on top of security and SOC analysts, it is also made for forensics analysts, IT administrators, and junior penetration testers. The program consists of 15 modules, and from my experience, every module goes very in-depth into different tools, whether for networking, log analysis, obfuscation, and and many, many more. After completing all 15 hands-on modules, you'll then go through and complete the official CDSA exam. The exam itself is based on a real-world environment, which means you'll be required to perform actual security analysis, SOC operations, and incident handling activities on multiple real-world networks. This is one thing that really sets apart Hack the Box from other certification programs because their exams are not multiple choice based questions. This makes it so that you're actually getting tested in a hands on environment that actually simulates what you would be doing on the job as a security analyst or as an SOC analyst. Plus, by going through the entire certification path and exam using Hack the Box's in browser platform, there are no infrastructure or tool requirements to complete the entire certification path, which is another huge win when you're just starting out. There's not a huge Huge amount of setup and it's relatively easy to get started even with no previous experience. So while this program is for beginners, Hackerbox does provide a list of prerequisites before you get started. A few notable things includes having intermediate knowledge around web and infrastructure pen testing, knowledge around web applications, OSs, and networking, communicating and reporting security incidents, as well as conducting manual and automated security analysis and SOC operations. So as you can see, most of their prerequisites are conceptual, but even if there are certain topics that you don't know on this list, trust me, this program is very thorough and they'll be covering everything that's on this list and more. You can take the SOC analyst prerequisites path available on Hack the Box Academy that is designed for anyone interested in SOC or security analyst roles. This will get you caught up on the basics of IT, networking, Linux, and Windows operating systems, basic scripting, and more, which will provide all of the foundational knowledge you'll need before starting the SOC Analyst Pathway. So what are the steps to become CDSA certified? First up, you're going to complete the SOC Analyst Job Path, which is essentially the entire learning path for the certification. And then you're going to get an exam voucher so you can start your exam process. Also note that the Hack the Box Academy's silver annual subscription includes a free exam voucher, or you can purchase it separately from Academy's billing page. And specifically noting that each exam voucher includes two exam attempts. And once you've purchased your exam voucher, you can officially start the exam, start your investigation, upload your final report, and then finally obtain your exam results. All right, so now let's dive deeper into the curriculum and see what you'll really be learning throughout the different modules within the SOC Analyst Job Role Path. So like I mentioned, there are 15 total modules in the entire SOC Analyst Career Path with the modules ranging from fundamental, easy, medium, and hard modules. But most of the modules hover around easy and medium, which is really the sweet spot, I think, for beginners. So you'll be starting out in the past, learning about the incident handling process, going through interactive questions, everything from detecting a suspicious event, performing SOC analysis, confirming an incident, and then finally reporting and retrospectives. This, I think, is one of the most important skills as an SOC analyst, especially for tier one SOC analysts, where you'll really be spending a lot of your time going through analysis, looking at logs, reviewing for any suspicious events or anomalies, 
and of course knowing the basics of the incident handling process. Next up is security monitoring and SIEM fundamentals. You'll be going over SIEMs and the Elastic Sack, the MITRE attack framework, and KQL, which is a great way to get some hands-on experience learning how to query through different logs and how to navigate a typical SIEM tool. This was personally one of my favorite modules because you really got hands-on into looking at the different SIEM visualizations, how to use them to your advantage, and how to extract relevant information from them. Next up is Windows Event Logs and Finding Evil. This is a super hands-on module and you'll likely be using tools that you haven't used before going through many of these modules, which is another great reason why the CDSA certificate is so relevant to someone who is just starting out as a SOC or a security analyst. Because you're learning about the tools and using them hands-on, likely for the first time that you could potentially be using in a real-world SOC. In this module, you'll go into the Windows Event Logs and look for specific suspicious events or activities by certain users on certain files. It is a very interesting module to go through and it can also give you an idea of when to look for certain things in a certain set of data or a certain set of logs. Module number four is an introduction to threat hunting and hunting with Elastic. This goes through the fundamentals of threat hunting, so everything from basic definitions to what a threat hunting team looks like and what they do and the different types of threat intelligence. Then after learning the theory part of things, you'll also get hands-on threat hunting using the Elastic Stack. Next up is understanding log sources and investigating with Splunk. So first we covered SIEMs using the Elastic Stack and now we're getting some hands-on experience using Splunk as an SIEM tool, which is a very popular solution used by small and large companies. So you're getting awesome exposure across the board to these popular tools. This module includes more hands-on practice, including the creation of effective SPL or search processing language searches, how to identify and understand ingested data, and how to use Splunk for security monitoring and analysis. Next up is Windows Attack and Defense. You'll be walking through common attacks against Windows Active Directory environments, which is one of the most commonly used domain management suites, as well as how threat actors are performing horizontal and vertical privilege escalations, as well as lateral movement across the network. Next up is an introduction to network traffic analysis, where you'll be covering various different network analysis tools, including including TCP dump and Wireshark. Again, two new tools to be added to your toolkit, onto your resume, and on future projects that you work on or CTFs. After that, you'll go into an intermediate network traffic analysis module, which delves a little bit deeper into network security and network analysis concepts, and then a module on IDS and IPSs or specifically an intrusion detection system versus an intrusion prevention system. You'll be exploring tools like Suricata, Snort, Zeek, and going through hands-on examples on the detection of malware such as PowerShell Empire, Patchwork, and others. The last two modules include an introduction to malware analysis, JavaScript deobfuscation, Yara and Sigma for SOC analysts, an introduction to digital forensics, detecting Windows attacks with Splunk, as well as security incident reporting, which I won't go too deep into, just so you guys can go in and see for yourself what the modules cover and what you can expect. You can start the Hack the Box Certified Defensive Security Analyst Certification using the link in my description with a silver annual subscription to get the hands-on experience through relevant tools and project-based modules. It is a great way to kickstart your career as an SOC or security analyst, and I highly recommend it based on my personal experience going through the program. Thank you again to Hack the Box for sponsoring today's video. Right, so now that we've covered all the modules and the overview of the program, what exactly is the pricing? This is where I really recommend the Silver Annual Subscription. This provides access to all the modules of the SOC Analyst Job Role Path and one exam voucher for a year. In US dollars, this is $490 per year, and the other benefits includes access to all other modules up to and including tier two, CPE credits, and this is more affordable than buying all the different modules and exam vouchers individually. In terms of security training, this is a great deal, especially if you're thinking about all the hands-on practice that you're gonna get and the relevant technical projects that you'll be working on that you'll also be able to add onto your resume and talk about during future interviews with employers, whether it be for internships or full-time cybersecurity roles. 
Plus another option is if you're a student, you can also get a student subscription, which is $8 monthly. And that is a very, very good price to get all this information. But do you know that this doesn't include the exam voucher, which is sold separately for $210, which again includes two exam attempts. And finally, the third option for pricing is to purchase the SOC Analyst Path, which is $120 for the modules only. This is a great option for those of you who are looking for a certification path with hands-on learning, almost zero setup on your end because all the infrastructure is already set up by Hack the Box for you, which already makes your life a whole lot easier. And your main job is really just go in there and learn as much as you can. And of course, getting the official CDSA certification once you complete and pass your exam. So now that we've covered the entire Hack the Box Certified Defensive Security Analyst Program, let's go into how you can use this program and get hired into your first entry-level SOC analyst job. So I have other videos on how to get a job in cybersecurity without any previous experience. But first off, I cannot stress enough having a project-based resume and how important that can be when you don't have any previous technical experience, whether it be from jobs, internships, etc. This is a really great way to get started because Firstly, you're covering all these different cybersecurity tools that companies may already be using in their environments. And you also have an exam that's based on real world networks and threats. Because the exam isn't multiple choice based, like many other popular certifications, this is a great way to showcase your skills and be able to talk about in depth on your resume. So even if you don't have any previous cybersecurity experience, make sure that you're getting as much of your technical project based experience onto your resume so that you can stand out against other candidates who may also be entry level. Next up is to have an optimized job search process. So this means ignoring any quick apply or easy apply on different career sites. Honestly, the easier it is to apply for a job, the more likely that thousands of applicants will be applying for that same job. So to stand out, I like to go to a company's website and directly apply for the job itself. I keep a list of the top 50 companies I may want to work for. And this list is obviously always changing as I go through my career, but it's a great way to kind of have a short list of places to start applying when you're in the job market. I've also started posting a weekly list of cybersecurity internships, cybersecurity jobs that are for entry-level roles. So definitely keep an eye out on that. It should be in the community tab of my YouTube channel, as well as shared on Discord and my Patreon. The job search process really is a numbers game. So definitely don't fret if you start to get rejections. Applying to hundreds of jobs, especially in your early career, is very normal. So don't let it get you down. And I would also recommend going through mock interviews, which is a great option to get started, especially if you don't have any previous interviewing experience. And it can also help calm some of your anxiety when you do start getting interviews. All right, so that is it for this video. Let me know if you guys have any other questions about the Hack the Box Certified Defensive Security Analyst Certificate, and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you again to Hack the Box for sponsoring today's video, and don't forget to check out the Certified Defensive Security Analyst Certification linked in my description below. Let me know if you guys have any other video topics you may want to see from me in the future. I post videos weekly, and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!